Hi everybody. T today our guests are Ilya and Lisa. Hi. Hi guys. Hello, hello. Thanks Sergey for the uh, the idea behind this start uh, this uh, streams is to give Ukrainian startups the place to talk about themselves uh, and be comfortable in presenting. But today's guests are not this kind of startup. We will talk about this a bit later. Uh, this, start, this podcast also will be available as stream, as podcast is everywhere. Um, and most important thing, there is a QR code over there to call it, you need to donate. If you listened and, and loved it, and if you didn't love it, you need to donate too. In any case, you need to donate. So how it works right now. So today is a startup. You're still a startup. Come back mobility. Uh, Ilya, CEO, and Lisa, you are separation officer. Correct. Because you have like CTO, operation officer, I don't know. <laughs> um, yeah, 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 it's a startup thing, you know. <laughs> so uh, we will talk about your story behind because you have a, a bit of a long story for several years and also you have a great news because you are in t-shirts of tech stars, you know, <laughs> already the news, what the news are. So, Let's uh, begin uh, with a uh, tell about what is right now Comeback Mobility. <clears throat> okay, so right now uh, we're rebuilding our business model, redesign everything and doing like a pilot because during the last three years, we tried to sell our product uh, to patients, to doctors, to hospitals, to everyone to DME providers, durable medical equipment provider is uh, a special organization that uh, provide medical devices for patients and for um, <clears throat> and for clinics. So yeah, all those uh, target audience was wrong for us because the money are not there. They are like they would like to use our device. They would love to have these outcomes, but unfortunately, they wouldn't pay money. Okay. Let me clarify what we actually are working on. <laughs> sure. Imagine like you have some injury and doctor tells you, okay, leg injury, I mean, doctor tells you, okay, uh, to recover, you need to put 25% of your body weight on the injured leg during the first week, then 50% of your body weight during the next week and so on. And natural question is... How? Yes. How exactly? How how do I know it's like twenty five percent of my body weight, right? Uh, so doctors can come up with different suggestions. They are suggesting to imagine that you are stepping on the egg without cracking it. That um, you take your scales and then count what is twenty five percent of your body weight and then memorize how painful it is and then walk yeah. like that. Yeah. But they say that your perception of pain can change during the day. So. It's like really hard to follow doctor's restrictions without having a device that help you to give a constant feedback. And we are working on this feedback. Even more, most of doctors, more than 80%, and it's proven, are not prescribing this weight-bearing algorithm because they know that patients are just unable to follow it without a device. That means that rehabilitation may take up to eight weeks longer without using this protocol. So yeah. this is the problem we are targeting and so we are constructing these devices we actually produce the first batch we're providing them as Ilya said to, to everyone to everyone to hospitals to uh physicians physical therapists clinics try to patients directly like everyone happy but nobody pays especially in the us when uh, everyone like understand that everything has to be covered by insurance providers I know <laughs> yeah, how, how it's not working in the United States. But you, like, uh, I've heard about you, like, I don't know when, but when uh, I joined you all, like, as advisor, or, I don't know what his mm -hmm. role is, but when he joined, well, him by mobility, you need to go to see them. And since then, you've, like, gone through all Ukrainian 
um, funding programs, USF, all of them. And now you've done, you've got, uh, you were selected into uh, Texas Tech Stars Health Tech program. As I understand. Correct. So yeah, tell really about, cool. yeah, how you've gotten to Tech Stars. <clears throat> Actually, you know, my own thought that was that we are too late for this kind of acceleration because we already passed, because we already produced their industrial batch and we already passed all the regulations, including FDA, um, HIPAA compliance, FCC, ISO, uh, quality management systems. All this stuff was pretty hard without advisors and we paid a lot of money for, um, uh, yeah. for consult uh, consultations. And we've done all this stuff, but we still stuck because the sales didn't grow exponentially. And uh, one of my mentor from NYU Langon Health uh, Innovation Lab, he told me, you know, uh, coming to the insurance providers market and creating a new uh, code for specific for your device and getting reimbursement, yeah, um, it need to be a acceleration because you need to someone who will open all the doors. So you need to uh, participate in this kind of program. And he personally advised uh, me to participate there and he introduced our product, our uh, startup to the director of the program, Trey, and Trey invited us. And yeah, right now we just one week passed in this acceleration program and we understood that it wasn't it was uh, it was the right decision uh, actually I, I would like to support you in this decision because acceleration is for it, you can go to acceleration it's text tax yc whatever several times but the first time is the most important you need to go like uh, the great example for ukrainian startups were pet cube they got into yc after product market not product market fit but after they generated first like th yeah, million of in sales for huh? them. So they created some kind of momentum for them yeah. so they just pushed it towards so i hope that it's going to be a similar situation for us and as elias said it's a bit easier when you have some connector as a tech yeah. stars that can help us to get into the insurance companies and actually disrupt this rehabilitation algorithm rehabilitation procedures that we already have in the united states yeah i i have some experience with insurance companies in the united states and they don't understand that to to get into like talking with them it's the hardest thing ever and you need some shortcuts and tech stars is the greatest shortcut i think the next greatest shortcut is to go to acceleration program of insurance company. <laughs> yeah, we also apply. Yeah. We apply to, uh, to someone, and uh, they do provide uh, like uh, opportunity to do pilots with them. Mm -hmm. It's extremely hard to organize the pilots without this kind of program. Yeah, and the same thing, you know, uh, in order to penetrate uh, large hospital systems in the in in the uh, US, the yeah. US. It, the average cycle of the deal is one and a half year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 18 months. Uh, it, it's 18, 18 months. It's like, it's the shortest time, unfortunately, to, to do deals for them. Yeah, I heard about seven years the inflation time. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Wow. So that, that's a huge opportunity for you. And you will be there for 12 weeks or it's some kind it's of different? Weeks, to be more precise. Um, but maybe we're going to stay a bit longer because after demo day, probably we would love to close some deals. Yeah, sure. And is it as always, they will get from you equity plus give you some money? Yeah, well, it's a safe. same conditions as for everyone. Yeah, so yeah. you get both money as a safe note and also part of equity. Yeah. yeah, the only one difference uh, could be between their conditions. The save that they, they it's convertible note uh, that they give uh, could be with two different options with uh, pre money evaluation, three million and five million. Uh -huh. And in order to uh -huh. um, achieve their five million condition, um, you need to prove that you already raised 
more than half a million investments and uh, have this product that's it okay okay yeah cool uh so the next large question is for me personally i always interested in entrepreneurship stories how you get to this point uh what you like how you've met as a co-founders and what's why you've become entrepreneurs in the first place and i i've looked up your linkedin profiles and both of you are entrepreneurs for a long time so so let me start on little yeah. from, from the moment when we met <laughs> so um yeah um uh, i'm our several you were born in Dnipro. <laughs> no, no, it, it's more about, yeah. <laughs> that, that, that's why I'm asking, because we were born is like in the country that we're not supporting entrepreneurship at all. And somehow you've become that. that that's why I'm interested in it, yeah. Um, I would disagree with you because I don't think that Ukraine not support entrepreneurship. Right. Anymore. Yeah. I, I'm yeah. too old to, yeah. <laughs> so yeah um i do have several uh, businesses before this uh, startup and uh, <clears throat> i have developed i've developed four innovative products um uh, and uh, and uh, i did one small exit with my last startup after that um i decided to go to uh thailand and realize my uh childhood dream to become a muay thai boxer and uh, when i came to uh, kopangan island in thailand spent uh, five months in preparation and then in my first fight in the fifth round i got injured and the rehabilitation took me six months and here is uh, that's how i come up with the idea about the medical device for rehabilitation and uh, because of by that time all my previous product projects was uh, software related i i just tried to remember okay how can i find a co-founder with technical background and uh, medical device background and there is one more story that lisa i'd like you to share this uh, um so we met long before we started this company together and it also was a funny story because we met in silicon valley I was going through Alchemist Accelerator and I met like one of my investors during the interview mentioned that like, oh, by the way, do you know Ilya? He's from Ukraine too. And I was like, yeah, sure. Like, I mean, you know, we all in Ukraine know each other. Um, once I left his office, Ilya texted me on LinkedIn and I realized it's the same person. So we met, I think the same day or next day. Yeah, the same day. Know. It was same day, yeah. 2017, yeah? 2017, yes. Uh, and happened to be that we actually were born in the same city and we have a lot of shared connection. So we kind of knew each other without knowing each other. After that, we went to sauna together with our teams and had a lot of fun. And after that, some years after, we started this company together. Yeah, in 2021, yeah? I text 2020. 2020, yes. I texted yes. and said, here, I have an idea about the device. I need a partner. For boxers, you say, device for boxers. And I was like, yeah, no. <laughs> but then we came up with this other idea, with the device of rehabilitation, actually. Ilya did, because Ilya went to the hospitals and he was talking to the doctors, trying to figure out what is the real issue they're having. Yeah. And they said, like, okay, you know what? If your hand is broken, it's not a big deal, honestly, because you have another hand and you can use it like instead. I mean, it's not comfortable, but you're not in a pain enough to accelerate your rehabilitation. However, if you have a leg broken, yeah. it's not comfortable for you even to go to the restroom. So you want to fix it as soon as possible. It's like really, really painful. And that's how we transform the product to smart crash tips. Wow. Uh, and since then the product is the same or because you've said we, we changed the product a bit in Which the right smart, yes, you know and uh, many many different crazy idea because the the question was how we can measure the weight from your injured leg yeah and since uh, 1970s everyone tries to measure weight by inbuilt weight sensors to shoe or insoles and we also tried the same idea uh but one day 
one talent engineer from uh, KPE, I'll be called in English mm -hmm. right now, from Kiev University. Uh, he just came up with the idea and uh, we just figure out that yes, actually there is a moment when there, when you make a step, there is a moment when the health select goes up and your weight at this time distributes between the assistive device and the injured leg. So if you can know the, the weight of the patient, we can retrospectively deduct the amount of weight yeah. that goes to the assistive device and figure out how much weight exactly goes to the injured leg. And this principle works pretty, pretty accurately. Yeah, yeah. So uh, when you're starting to stand or to walk, you just need to use your how crashes yeah crutches cane doesn't matter well, any kind of assistive device and I mean, the, they measure the, the first place they measure your weight and deducting from your like 80 you kilos you know weight. your weight anytime you can in a hospital yeah. they're asking you to measure your weight so um when the doctor prescribes the device to the patient they already know how much the person weighs that's how we can calculate what is 25 percent 50 and so on based on the program and then devices give you some light indication so you know how you're walking and you can set it up and also there is a voice assistance through the application because you cannot walk on the crashes and hold your phone yeah so we can also give you a voice assistance um, but actually what is this designed for that like you just have to train yourself to walk and you don't have to really follow the recommendations for the entire day just easier for you to train yourself on how to use your injured leg yeah 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 so, hey, so when base, up. yes ba basically learn and your feedback is like light, light as i've seen on your youtube uh, video it's like green correct or, yeah or light green. And voice and Lights voice if it's unblocked up. yeah Asking mm -hmm. you to step harder on software or software. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And uh, this like helps people to, because first week, second week, they will change, you are changing the training procedure and uh, th that it, helps you. The very bearing status uh, changing week after week. Yeah. And actually, you now, as soon as you get this feeling, the right, how, how to put the right amount of weight um it takes like 10 20, 20 12 12 steps then you can go and do it uh, pretty accurate but uh -huh. the trick is thing that if you sit down and stand up you have to learn it again because your body forget it. don't forget it. and um the same thing every day yeah. you need you know like do this uh short by feedback training for like 10 seconds uh every time when you starting using crutches uh -huh. that's but is it the same like uh 50 25 10 percent weight for for everybody or it depends on the type of injury necessarily we everything can... very 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 different and uh, every even with the same diagnosis yeah different doctors with different cases can prescribe absolutely different stories we have uh, one patient in kiev she uh had huge construction and uh, she, 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 she lost like the half of bones in her leg and uh, she had so complicated implant mm -hmm. and everyone was afraid because the chance that it will adapt to her body was pretty small and in order to make it this process smoothly they asking you to walk with our devices with like 20% of, of the weight of the body uh, for the four or five months. Wow. Yeah, and, and uh, right now she can dance. So uh, it's decreased the risk of uh, uh, that, that the adaptation will go wrong. Mm -hmm. so, so let me explain it again. I think it's yeah. not very clear. Um, depending on what doctor prescribes, uh, we adjust the program yeah. that interests. So we have two applications, one for patient and one for doctor. And in the application for doctor, you can input all the information needed for the rehabilitation process. So it's not like sharp 25, 50 and then <laughs> 100%. Yeah, yeah. So, and 
so doctor have their like patient management system and this is a your, your application is a prep to fit so you yes you prescribe something you learn from that and applying this to patient like yeah, and then doctor can uh, see in real time all the activity of the patient. Yeah. Oh, in, in real time. Yeah, he can see the the compliance rate, uh -huh. and he, he can he can call patient and say, hey, what are you doing? I said start uh, doing small weight bearing. I see you you do not uh, walk at all because before that uh, before our solution, uh, many patients just can say, okay, yes, we did everyone everything you said, but actually they didn't. Yeah, 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 and, and you know that, uh, yeah. That, that, I think that's a, uh, this trust issue between doctors and patients, the first thing in any type of rehabilitation that mm -hmm. I've did, but really you don't. <laughs> you, you, yeah, don't. If you, you don't pay for this, if insurance pays for you. Yeah, but yeah, people, especially, yeah, <laughs> if insurance pays for everything. Okay, and I think it's a good moment to remind that we should donate to Kolo. Yeah, yeah, it's always there. Uh, if you're watching this, it's on the top left corner of yours. Use the QR code and go. And I actually have QR codes over there. That are... Looks like that. Uh, thanks for reminding. I always forget this because when we're talking it's like I'm all into conversation <laughs> I need to I'd be interrupted uh, yeah next question about how you you've started with I, you've talked you have a patient in Kiev so you've started in Kiev and not only production but also sales or there were only like testing devices, something. Yeah, <clears throat> from the from the beginning, we provided the devices for free. Mm -hmm. uh, one of our mentor in Western he asked, "Why you didn't try sell to do sales to sell it?" And actually, you know, I, I realized that all of them there was ready to pay in, mm -hmm. in Ukraine because in Ukraine nobody covers by insurance. Yeah. And then I just started telling them that, okay, the, the device usage is 1,000 grievances per month. And everyone started uh, pay, uh, paying for, for it. Then we tried to do payment, uh, to do to sell the devices to hospitals in Ukraine also, to, in, in Dnipro, in Dobrobut and uh, mm -hmm. other hospitals. They also paid for it, but those solution wasn't uh, scalable. Mm -hmm. Then we asked uh, physical therapist clinics in, in, in the US uh, to pay for it. They said we agree, but actually they didn't prescribe it a lot to the patients. So each each you know model, each business model was um, to feel it, that something wrong, something missing. Mm -hmm. It's not using uh, like constantly. <sighs> That's why we uh, <laughs> We decided to come to come, come uh, to Techstars and uh, to rebuild our business model and see, okay, maybe there is another opportunities how we can build the product that will be uh, come to the massive usage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And because it's a physical device, you have some logistics, uh, manufacturing, all other things. Yeah, we do. And uh, we do assembly in Ukraine in Dnipro and under rockets. And, uh, you know, their quality management system requires to do testing yeah. of the your medical device. And everything is controlled by FDA. And uh, imagine, for example, if we say that, okay, our device ha has three years lifetime value and uh, their, uh, the limit is two million steps. Yeah. That's what we need to do with uh, some amount of devices, these tests. And how do you think we can do the test of 2 million steps? Give it to some people and ask them to walk 2 million steps around the stadium. 
Uh, no, we built a special machine, and that machine doing this uh, amount of steps during a uh, bombing during a month. And one time I remember it was like 28, 27. We almost done this test, and because of the bombing, the electricity shut down. So we need to, oh, to start gosh. again. Um, yeah, logistic is not a big deal, but uh, the the testing processes in Ukraine it was was. Uh, hard for us yeah, because yeah. they're shutting down of electricity yeah 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 wow so 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 uh everything is built in dnipro and yeah uh, components we order from different countries yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, for example casting and molding we we done in in, uh, in ukraine and also the metal uh the electronic boards uh, do you remember the, you. do you remember the, the, the name of the manufacturing Oh, give me a second. Uh... <laughs> it was all a long time ago. Yeah, 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 yeah. But but it's more like you are creating this, and the issue that like I uh, come up, I found is that sending something from Ukraine to United States right now is not the easiest part because it's more expensive than to send from China to the United States. Oh, look, look Sergei, if it was so easy, probably everyone would have been doing it, right? So, of course, nothing here is easy. But uh, I think that what we can do now is to help other entrepreneurs who are watching us with some advices on how to get to this point and see how they're struggling. Because mistake we're seeing in people who are like behind us is that they think, okay, I create something useful. No, no, no. Look, first mistake is that people thinking like, oh, I have a great technology. That means that I'm gonna have a lot of money. So wrong. So you need to have good solution for people. Second mistake is that, oh, I have a good solution for people. So insurance is gonna pay me. Guess what? Wrong. So maybe we're here like to answer this type of question and to help them to, you know, adjust to the reality and do not repeat the mistakes that we were doing because um, in here in particular spent three years trying to figure out who's going to pay for that. We proved that the product is needed. We proved that the product can accelerate your rehabilitation. It's not like just my, you know, random bullshit. We have an article, scientific article proving that it works. And now we cannot sell it because it's a part of medical industry in the United States. So that is something we would still figure out, apparently, or not, and then we're going to fail. But hopefully, yes. Um, All right. You, you are learning. In, in, as entrepreneurs, in any case, I, I think my camera went off, uh, you, you will learn in, in any way. <laughs> you will succeed in any way, but how fast? <laughs> It, it will take you two weeks or well we're all limited for let's say 80 years right yeah. more or less so it's rather be faster than not uh, yeah that, that's a uh, great uh, to talk with healthcare people <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah like <laughs> no <laughs> you can come yeah uh so uh Let's answer this question. <laughs> what what's your mm, let me from this? What's your learning from three years of building something in Ukraine trying to sell it? Sure. First of all, we learned that in general, doctors don't care about their patients' recovery, and patients don't care about their recovery. And hospitals don't care also about doctors and patients. Here is the re reality. I know it's a little bit rude, but and and it's not like particular case of each of the person, but in general, this is my uh, my vision because yeah. now yeah, medicine is scientific proved business. Yeah. And come to doctor and or to hospital and say, here is the product. It will uh, expedite recovery of the pay of your patients they'll ask you okay uh, i have this particular pa patient with this particular diagnosis can you see me can you show me the uh, published article published uh, uh, study that mm -hmm. showed me that the, in this case it will expedite recovery um 
and again we have their their article about the expedited recovery with, after tibular patella fracture so that's mean that they can trust just for this diagnosis and you cannot expand it for other diagnosis unless you do clinical trial yes this is the first one the second yeah. thing everything here in in medical in medical business is uh, related is is because of the money everyone wants to to, to get money and um and actually there is a way how how we can um how we can earn a lot of money by expediting recovery and this yeah. way not because of the people wants to uh, recover faster and not because of doctors wants uh, to their patients to recover faster because uh let's see the situation for example you work i don't know at a constructor company and you broke your leg and you sit down uh, sit at home mm -hmm. and you know in the us there is uh, workers compensation insurance that pays you a percentage of level of disability every week from your salary for example, if you broke your finger, yeah. you'll, you'll get paid 3% of the salary. If you broke your leg, you'll get paid about 66% of your salary. Mm -hmm. So, if you want to recover faster and go to the hard work, then they can they can lay down at home and still get paid. From mm -hmm. the first perspective, from the second perspective, let's say about the physical therapist clinic. Okay, if the patient recovers slower, they, it means that they're going to come every week they're gonna get come to you and pay for the visits and all insurance gonna cover their visits. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So why do they interesting to expedite their their recovery, physical therapists? Let's talk about surgeons, surgeons who did this uh, surgery. Mm -hmm. uh, if patients, uh, you know, they did the surgery, that's it. Then if the patients uh, will start um, put some some weight and try to expedite recovery it will increase the risk of complications so from their perspective they would love to super secure their risk and even using by using our device they will um, prescribe weight bearing uh, in in the way how they secure themselves first of all but who else could be interested in uh, uh, expediting recovery the owner of the business who paid for this insurance he wants their you know, worker to come faster and their workers comp insurance because they paying all this money so we just figure out this and this is was super uh unlogical for us when we were in ukraine and, and we have no idea how their united healthcare system works so we should all always thinking, okay, who can earn or save tons of money with your solution? Yeah. <laughs> who are making money on that? <laughs> Not only you, but yeah. And you're just solving a great problem of speedy recovery and... Peace of being. Hmm? Thank you. Yeah. And uh, speeding up the recovery and also saving um this like salary um how it's called salary when you're paying when you're... Uh, we're, 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 save, we're gonna save their <clears throat> expenses for the insurance expenses. providers that that uh, pays for their um disability rate like you know if you broke your leg your uh, yeah. neck and you 100% disability and you broke it because you was on, on job yeah. or you paid for the, for your for your team in sport this mean that you uh, got this injury because of your job yeah and but, but uh, is a company you're working the patient is working for pain when you're on a, this like sick leave disability leave this like 66 66% you've mentioned or something else or it's an insurance company. Oh, no. Insurance pays for this. And insurance paying for this and for recovery and for all the yes. doctors. Yes, expenses, yes. Uh, the, the owner of the business pays insurance to insurance. This uh, disability and workers' comp insurance, it's cost, for example, I also pay for insurance by, for, by my, for myself. Yeah. It, 
it's about four hundred dollars per year uh -huh. if something happens on my job because of my job yeah the, uh, the insurance gonna cover my medicine expenses and my um uh, loss of the salary because of this injury okay okay and next uh is like um is this your device one time using because you've mentioned it's like two million steps and everything else so uh every patient's need to get new one or it could be reused no we're renting it out ah so yeah, yeah so you can use it like. you don't have to buy it like you need it just for four to six weeks usually yeah that's why there is no point in buying this device because it may cost up to 1500 yeah so that's why we're just renting it out per mm -hmm. week so mm -hmm. you want touch body device like insoles or so you, you can you can just put it to any kind of crutches or cane and take it off. Ah, uh, you can take in, in any in any like type of device because it's like it's shorter in your case or something like yeah yeah yeah. Yeah. You can combine it. Wow, that that's. Mm. I'm looking to my notes. Uh, yeah. And what, what we, now we down to your story, how you met each other, like how you've developed your company and to, up to the state you are currently in. What's your vision, basically? What's your trying to build in the, like, in the giant helicopter view? Well, I think it's very simple. As I told you, there is a standard procedure where after leg injury person should go into weight bearing right so we want to be a part of this standard protocol we want like every patient who needs weight bearing use our device because this is a unique device there is no other solution yet in the market we want to get into that that's the vision and then ultimately sell the company for i don't know 500 million hopefully that's our vision <laughs> So, mm -hmm. he, as, as a, any great business, you're trying to do a mon monopoly on something. It's your like go. Uh, you know, because of the patent, we already exist. Uh, we'll, we will have this uh, monopoly for the next 20 years in uh, several markets where we patent this, this technology. Uh -huh. But it for all the time. And because of that, yes, there is, it's, it will increase our chance to have a good exit. For potential buyer who, and it could be like one of the biggest player of insurance here in the us who could buy this technology in order to use this competitor advantage or even then resell it to their competitors this is their this is very logical because we can we can count how much money they can save let's say new york new york state the average salary in new york state is 71k annually and uh, if we multiply eight weeks and 66% will be three and a half thousand. The average savings that we can uh, reduce for the insurance per case. Mm -hmm. So, and uh, there is three and a half million uh, cases in the US. So let's say New York state, if they have hundred thousand, they already uh, have the opportunity to save $350 million. Uh, the second thing is uh, how easy we can scale this the, this uh, solution. But your scale is like dependent on on manufacturing in the first place. Yes, first of all, uh, it's really easy to scale manufacturing, and the second of all, the U.S. healthcare market is full of durable medical equipment providers, special mm -hmm. business that just take percentage. Let's say they're gonna take 20 percent. And then, I, then they're going to keep this equipment, clean it, and rent it to the patient each time when their uh, doctors prescribe. So the scalability in the U.S., like in, in most of the businesses, are uh, pretty cool, pretty attractive. Because healthcare in the United States is, from the employer perspective, broken, but, but the, from the business perspective, it's unlimited, almost, Yeah, in the case of money. Wow, that's a huge opportunity for you. Uh, and you said that uh, 
all other companies that are trying to solve this problem are doing this like from the, f not from the crunches, but from f food, from the shoe. Yeah, they did smart insoles, smart sandals, some embedded solution of their weight sensors to their uh, something on your leg. Yeah, but but they if they have like problem in a product that they do other way around. They they don't understand how much you are putting on crunches. Uh, uh, both no, they, do, they, they they just calculate. Yeah, both solutions are working are good in order uh, in their question about the measurement. Yeah. But the solution with insoles or uh, sandals are not reusable and the manufacturing cost will be pretty high. And then you have different size. Yeah. And then, yeah. okay, if, if it's winter or summer, would they wear the in, uh, insoles or sandals with the same and everywhere? Probably not. So you cannot secure. And would they wear it at home? Probably not. So you cannot secure that all the time when patients on crutches, they're going to use it. Unless our device all the time, uh, patients on crutches, they're going to use our device and we're going to track all their activity. So, so you, you are more like the cheaper and yeah, and you're cheaper e e because you don't have the size of this like winter, summer things. You are the same yeah. product every all the year. For every person. Yeah, if we can uh, uh, divide the the cost of manufacturing of our device by the number of potential use, there the cost of the device will be ten bucks, ten dollars. Wow. Ah, and you have devices in pair, so yes, but you're counting ten dollars for pair or for every different. Yes, yes, for pair. Uh-huh. Okay, okay. That's great, yeah. That's so can you huge. imagine with ten dollars expensive, we yeah, can yeah, save yeah. half thousand. Yeah, 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 yeah. The next steps we just need to prove it with a couple of uh, pilots with insurances. You yeah. know, we did pilots with hospitals, but we need to do pilots with insurances. And as soon as we prove it, I think we can uh, uh, commercialize our solution and have great great income yeah yeah and and any healthcare solution you've already like have great stories how you've helped people you've told the story about in, entrepreneur in kiev or somebody who worked at construction uh if you're talking about, about ukrainian uh, but, but I, i'm talking about people yeah how you've helped people <laughs> Uh, how we are helping people yeah 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 but, uh... you know for me personally uh one of the biggest question is you know how much would you pay in order to quit crashes uh faster one month faster one week faster i mean for me it's horrible experience i i have i've been on crashes twice in my life so i'm experienced crash walker and uh, but um I cannot sit at home and just yeah, do not be active. I love you can even can't drive a car when you're on crutches. If, if it's not a like, broken oh, leg is only left, yeah. Yeah, yes. No. <laughs> okay, okay. Um so right now your biggest obstacle is to get into this mind of these insurance companies to accept you as a working solution to save money for them i think the the study itself also will be a hard deal and to, to manage all this thing, thing uh, will be not easy and as i said as i told you there are different diagnoses and we need to prove how much uh, money and how much time we can save for each, each particular diagnosis and it requires years so our goal is to create some smart way of conducting this study and to do all this stuff i don't know within six months eight months <laughs> in order to tomorrow. become yes tomorrow <laughs> in order to become a you know proven proven solution for insurance providers not 
when we're gonna be i don't know 40 years old <laughs> yeah oh, anyway <laughs> just saying maybe maybe you want to answer some question i didn't ask <laughs> I actually think that um, if you're a young entrepreneur and you watch till this point, I encourage you to contact or me or Ilya if you have some questions and we can answer you back. Uh, I would be very specific. It should be about medical devices or wellness devices, and you should be asking about US market. So if you're curious, feel free to contact us. I think that the main like question you could get as to how to uh, sell device that was manufactured in Ukraine onto US market all the get all the FDA approved and everything because I've I've mentored several startups on that case so this is like the main question right now how to manufacture something in Ukraine and got into market well as you see in our example, it's not as hard because we managed to do that. Yeah, it's possible, uh, but it requires you to have a, a reasonable amount of money. So you have to and know the ability to read. Yes, to read, to raise money, yes. and to read everything. <laughs> because yeah. I think with a HIPAA compliance, there are already startups that are helping you get HIPAA compliance. Yeah, there are. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that, 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 that's an interesting opportunity so to get HIPAA compliance. You need another startup helping you. Thanks, Sergey. Yes, it was very nice talking to you. Thank you very much for the invitation to your yes, podcast. Yes, we had a lot of fun. Thanks a lot. Have a great day. Bye-bye.